Hello, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. We are going to get our core on fire with this advanced Pilates workout. The movement is going to be Pilates complex. It's challenging. We will flow from one movement to another and it might take a little willpower. Having a strong core is going to support you in other physical activities that you do or simply your daily responsibilities such as carrying groceries and your child at the same time or walking up 10 flights of stairs. So let's go meet me on a mat. We're going to start with some breathing exercises. So we're going to do a lateral diaphragmatic breathing and active transverse abdominal connections. So I'm going to talk you through and then we'll do it together because it's a bit difficult for me to talk and do it at the same time. So what we're going to do, you can do kneeling and I'll come forward later so we can have a front on abdominal um, in, the, in, the, in the video. So we're going to inhale and then exhale, try to, let, try, try to let go all the air that you have. And an in-breath, exhale, try to let go all the air you have. And then the next inhalation, instead of taking the air in, you're going to pull in. We're going to pull in the belly in and we're going to hold it up there. Hold the abdominal tight. And then we're going to inhale without pushing the belly out. Exhale, pulling in. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, inhale, breathe. Exhale, and we'll do that for 10 times. Okay, so we'll do that together. I'm going to come forward. So here we go. Let me just tuck you in, in a little bit. So you won't be able to see my face, but you can hear my voice. So we're going to prepare ourselves with two sets of breathing. You can have your hands behind your head. We inhale, exhale, just let go all the air out. Inhale, exhale, let go all the air out. And now don't take an inhalation, but you hold that in, okay? So let's do that again. In breath. And we're going to vacuum in. We hold the abdominal and in breath. Last one, and let it go. Oh, okay, we got that. So that was called an active lateral diaphragmatic breathing. You have the abdominal in at all time, and you continue breathing in and out through the lateral of the rib cage and keeping that connection in. So it's quite a advanced movement or quite an advanced technique. So practice that until you have that under your skin. So let's go ahead and continue the class. We're going to continue with our quadruped position. Align the shoulders and your hands. Align the center of your hip and the knee. Broaden the shoulder, lengthening the spine. And we inhale. As we exhale, we're going to take ourselves into a cat stretcher. So we round the spine. And then lengthening through the spine and extend the upper back up and making sure the neck stays long. Exhale, we round, mobilizing our spine. Inhale and extend. Exhale and in breath. Let's go two more times here. Exhale, just rounding in breath. Last one, exhale. And in breath. And go back to that neutral spine. Now we're going to do a little bit of a round back um, plank. We breathe out, take our spine into flexion here. Tuck the toes under, deep, deep scoop in the abdominals, and then float the knees off. So you stay in a rounded position, stay there. Four, five, 
Just keep breathing without letting the belly out. And two, in breath. Three, and four, and last five, and release. And flatten the back. Again, breathe out. Now this time we're not going to round our back, but we're gonna keep the spine long, but draw that deep TVA, transverse abdominus in. So we breathe out, pull the abdominal in, like a corset, we float the knees, and then stay, keep that lower abs lifted. Now, from here, extend the leg closer to me, reach it back with that sticking the bottom up, so keep the pelvis nice and long to the feet, and then bring it in. And again, other side, and bring it in. And other side, and in. Exhale, and in. Exhale, and in. So you want to find that your bottom is squeezing a little bit. So your glute and your hamstrings are engaged. And stay there. One more each side, exhale. Last one, come back and release. Well done, let go of the feet. Now we're going to do a rest position, extend the leg closer to me out to the side. Spread it out. And then we sit the pelvis back and then you go ahead and stretch the arms forward. So we have one leg sticking out to the side for to stretch our inner thigh and we stay here for the in-breath. Exhale, one more. Exhale, and come back. We switch over to the other side. Reach it up, sit the pelvis back, reach long, in-breath. Exhale, and exhale and let's come up bring the leg in okay let's sit down legs are forward moving to our roll up the pilates roll up so straight legs squeezing the legs together like a mermaid or a merman all right or in indonesia we have this traditional clothes called the kabaya so we're gonna we have this nice beautiful uh, cloth that we wear so it's really tight so I'm thinking if I am teaching in Indonesia I'm giving a cue as long as if like you're wearing a kabaya so or a mermaid or a merman so let's lift the spine tall we're gonna round the back into that C curve so active back muscle active abdominal then from there we take our pelvis back to the floor, lower spine to the floor, then take the arms overhead. Inhale, we'll lift. Exhale, continue, we'll come up forward. Now, if your lower spine feeling a little stiff, you may bend the knees slightly for this to help increase the mobility in the lower back. Okay, exhale, roll the sacrum, roll the lower spine down and take the arms overhead. Inhale, we'll lift. Exhale, come up and over into that C curve. And exhale, we roll down and arms overhead. Again, you're welcome to bend the knees if you feel like you need a little bit more help for this today. And last one, roll back, arms overhead, and inhale, lift the chest and take your body up and over forward and we'll take it down again as we breathe out and take the arms overhead now we're going to add rotation here so as we come up we're going to rotate our body towards me here think about chest lift with rotation there and then we peel up over to that same direction bring the body back to the center over to the other side, over to you. And then we roll down through that side of the body. And then we come back to the middle. Then we go over to you as we inhale. And then up over as you exhale, rotate through the midline, through the waist, and back down on that side and back to center. And to me, in breath, exhale, up, over, back to center, over to you, and down through the side of the spine, and back. And last one, to you, lift, exhale, think about reaching forward, and over. We roll back, 
and take yourself back over to the floor. Hold that, bring the feet in one, two, and then take the legs up to the tabletop. We're moving on to our favorite hundreds. Okay, here we breathe out, lifting the head and the chest up. Extend the legs up. Now, as we exhale, we're going to lower the legs down to an appropriate height for you. Inhale, we're gonna take it up, okay? When we're ready, inhale, we lengthen through the spine. Exhale, we lower. <sighs> inhale. You know when you do hundreds, instead of breathing out and breathing in, you can also sing. Sing whatever song you have in your head. Unfortunately for me, the song that I have in my head is my daughter's song, the My Little Pony. So he goes, hey, hey, everybody. This is very embarrassing and it's not very cool for me to sing that. But in honesty, that's a song that's stuck in my head. He'll play that over and over again. So I would sing it, hey, hey, everybody, we've got something to say. And I'm not going to continue singing that. I'm going to sing it in my head, okay? So go ahead and sing out loud whatever song you have in your head. We exhale, just skip singing. And inhale, it will make your hundreds a lot less painful than you really think it should be. And up. And again. And down. And up. And last one down. I hope you're still singing. And up, 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 up. We hold. We bend the knees. We open the arms. And we bring it down. My daughter will be very proud of me to actually remember that song. Okay, spine twist supine. Now legs at tabletop over to me as we inhale. Hold the legs, extend both legs straight. Bring it back up and we fold. Over to you as we in breath. Extend, bring it back up and then come back. Over to me, we extend. I like to have the shoulders anchored down and we fold, and to you, and extend. Remember, you still have that kabaya around your legs, or you're a mermaid or a merman. Your fin is right, your fin are actually your both of your legs, so your legs are tied together, and last one here, come back to the center, and stay, hold the leg straight, hamstring pull, one, two, three. We lift up, grab the back of your calf, bring the leg closer to me, down on the floor. Okay, can we pull the other leg closer to your face? And we go, we breathe out, extend, and switch, and stay long. One more set, and number two, hands behind the head. And tall, last set, number three, we twist. Two more set, last set, last one, back to center, we hold, we bend, my legs are shaking, lower one foot down, second leg down, and release the chest down, stretch your arms long by the side, give me one pelvic curl, so your feet are slightly apart, we breathe in, exhale, we roll it up, right up, to that highest point in the pelvis, your abdominals still scooping in, glutes are working, hamstrings are firing, inner thighs are working, arms are active, and we roll it down, down, down. And then the next time we're gonna stay up there. We're gonna take it to a shoulder bridge. So we breathe out, articulate, roll it up to that bridging position, Anchor the feet closer, anchor the foot closer to me and take the other one up straight up to the sky. And we go exhale, inhale, kick, exhale, stabilize the pelvis, exhale, inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale. Three more, two more, 
Last one, we hold, we point. We bend, we take the foot down, we establish the pelvis position, lift up a little higher, press the arms, then the other leg comes up. And we go, and we flex, exhale, and a flex, exhale, and an up, exhale, exhale. Three more times, two more, last one. And up, we point, we bend, we lower, we lift the pelvis a little higher. And then we go down, we go down, we go down, and we move on to the roll over. We take the leg up one, the tabletop, second leg, squeezing in the thighs that you have glue in between the thighs. And we straighten and take it up to the sky. Imagine you have a Pinocchio nose. Keep that nose reaching to the sky, to the roof, and then arms are active, roll the spine over. Now, send the pelvis up to the sky. We flex the feet, we separate them. We lower the feet down towards the floor, wherever you can go. We roll the spine back, keeping the arms active and glued to the floor. We release the pelvis, we point the feet, reach the legs away from you, bring them together and glue the legs together. Bring the legs up to the sky and curl it over. Think about the pelvis to the sky, pelvis to the sky. We flex, we separate, we lower the feet down and roll down. Now, while you do this, do not turn your head. Just keep looking up to the sky. Don't look into the screen and watch me. Just listen to my instruction, legs away and legs up to the ceiling. Roll over. We flex the feet. We separate the legs. We lower the legs and towards the floor. They don't have to touch the floor wherever you can go. We roll down, roll down, roll down. Release the pelvis. Point the feet, reach the legs away, bring them together, and last one up to the sky. And we roll over. We flex, we separate, we lower, and we roll the spine back. Settle the pelvis down, point the feet, legs reach away, glue them together, bring the legs to table top. And then we're gonna do our jackknife. So if you haven't done jackknife before, watch me one time and then come and join me. Try not to turn your head while doing jack at the same time, it's not recommended, you may actually sprain your neck. All right, so watch me if you haven't done this before, if you know what jack knife is, come and join me straight away. We extend, like roll over, legs up, roll over. And then keep the legs together, don't separate them. Tap the feet down, lift from the middle back and lower spine. Press the legs along, reach the legs right up vertically as much as you can. We roll back down and bring the legs away. You got that? Come and join us. And up, we roll over and we tap, lift from middle back, create space in the lower spine, bring the legs away. You work your tricep. And well done. You know what? The key of good jackknives are your triceps. You need to anchor those arms down to the floor and roll over and tap down and press the arms down, push the legs or press legs away from the arms. We roll back and legs away. Last one here, up to the sky, roll over. Down, we tap, lifting, lengthening up, pressing the legs away, 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 and we roll back. Legs away, bring the legs in, knees bent, lower one foot down, second leg down, keep the angle of the knee quite large, have the legs still together, take the arms overhead, we are going to roll up. We inhale, lift. Exhale, come right up and lift the spine. Good. And extend the legs for the back support and then we'll go leg pull back. Have your heels slightly apart, about a fist between the heels approximately, hands behind you. Right. 
You want to power through the front of your chest and keep that shoulder wide. And when you're ready, let's go. Press up. And we fall. Now the action is at the hip joint. You just push that pelvis up without curling and just folding the pelvis down. So we are doing hip extension and hip flexion. And up again, one straight line. And down two more times. And one straight line. And down. Last one, we stay up there for the leg pull back. Press the leg closer to me, the other leg kick up five times. One, two, gaze to the sky, three, four, five, we switch, and five, four, three, two, one. We hold the pelvis up a little higher and we fall the hip down. Cross the legs, come up onto your knees, release the ankles for the thigh stretch. So, arms are forward. Imagine you're pressing that imaginary table. We breathe out, pull in, wrap that TVA, and then we lean back from the knees. Hold this structure. Exhale, and inhale, release. Exhale, gather the transverse abdominis here. Lean back from the knee, and exhale, come right up, and let it go. Three more times, and lifting up, drawing in, reaching back, in breath. Exhale, and let go. Two more, and reach back, lean back, hold, exhale. Last one, we really put that belt on and we lean back. Don't break the line, and exhale, come back, and let it go, and release. Face me, face me, for the side bend, and the twist. I'm gonna go this way first. Okay, so get into the side bend position, preparation position. Really try to lift the armpit girdle up towards your heart here. Then we breathe out. We reach up tall. Then lift the pelvis, look down to the floor and look forward to me and then we're going to add the twist we're going to lift the pelvis up and then we'll bring the upper arm the upper arm to the back creating like a little pyramid here and then bring it forward again face me and smile and lower the pelvis and then soften the knee just touch it and then bring it up again side bend and look down oops and forward to me, hips up, rotate, reach the other arm to the back, and to me, smile, hip down, knees bend, two more, up, side bend, I'm drifting away, and to me, hip up, and arms to the back, and forward to me, and hips down, and bend the knee, last one, up, and over, and forward, hips up, to the back, think about your sitting bone sticking out to the sky, and to me, hips down, bend, a quick side stretch and at the side. Here we go. Then we got the other side. Another four set. Right, proud chest. Present yourself. That's right, just like that. We in breath and side bend. And 
to me. And hips up, rotate to the back. And open. And hips down and softening. Again, we press. Side bend, look down. Arms up, pelvis comes up. Rotate, reach to the back. And open to me, hips down, we bend. Two more, lift and side bend. And to me, and pelvis comes up. You rotate and reach for the back. And to me, hips down, we bend. Last one, hang on there, one more. Side bend and forward. And lift the pelvis, rotate and open. Hips down, soft knees, feet in. Side bend and release. Onto our quadruped again. We will do leg pull front into our arabesque back down. Another leg pull front, other side, and into the arabesque. Fancy names, hey? Arabesque. Basically, it's one leg sticking out behind you. Right, so quadruped position. Lift that lower abs up, lengthen the lumbar spine, the lower back. One leg out. And other leg out. All right, bring the leg closer to me. Point that foot and lift it up to the sky one. Without disturbing your pelvis and your lower spine. Three, two more, four. Last hole. Now lift the pelvis up to the pyramid and reaching the leg away. Hopefully in the same line as your spine. Reach out, reach long. Head go between the arms. And then we take our body back to the plank. Tuck the bottom under a little bit. And then release the foot down. Point the other foot and lift. Try not to disturb the pelvis and the lower spine. Two. That was three, sorry. Four. Last one. Five. Lift the pelvis. Reach the leg behind you in one straight line with the spine. Head goes between the arms, stay reaching. And two more, last one. And come back, release the foot down. And from here, I want you to walk your hands to your feet without bending the elbow. So we walk three times, one, two, three, and we roll the spine up. Okay, no, we're not done yet. We're going to do a Pilates push up. So we're going to roll down, walk three times forward. Hopefully you are already in that plank position without bending your elbow. And then we're gonna do five push up, come back up, roll down, and we'll do another five push up. When we do the Pilates push up, I want you to be, Make sure that when you bend the elbows, that you are not going to collapse on the shoulder blade. I want this shoulder blade to stay in a natural position. And think about the lats muscle opening out so we're not disturbing the placement. Okay, so recruit that abdominal. All right, so let's do it. We roll down gracefully. <laughs> And place your hands down. Walk your hands forward three times. Don't bend the elbow. Don't bend the elbow. Don't bend the elbow. Tricep push up. We bend the elbows to your feet without disturbing the shoulder blades and we press up. Only go two, as far as you can go down, maintaining the scapulae. Placement three, four, five. Now, do not bend the elbow. Walk back three times. Don't bend the elbow, don't bend the elbow, don't bend the elbow and roll up. One more set, roll down. And we walk the hands forward three times. Don't bend the elbow, two, three, another five push up. Down, two, three, 
four, five, out, walk back, three, don't bend the elbow, two, one, and roll up. And we need to go down again, so let's roll down again. And walk it up, three, two, one, and let's descend ourselves down to the ground. And three, two, one, ta-da, and stretch your ankles out. Four, double leg kick, please. Interlace your hands, place in the small of the back, and then just drop the elbows down. Have your legs together. We can turn your head towards me, okay? And then lengthen the tailbone down, and get your lower abs. Lift the legs off the floor, and we kick one, three times, two, three, reaching the arms off your bottom, lifting the back, lifting the legs, head over to the other side, and we kick three times, one, two, three, inhale, reach, and have it head over to the other side, and three, two, one, inhale, reach, other side, kick, two, three, inhale, reach, last set, kick, and then reach, last one, turn your head, inhale, reach, lift, hold, let go of the hands, Bend the elbows, place your arms on the side of your shoulder and lower the legs down. We're going to do a swan dive prep and then we're going to do a swan dive with catches, with catch. Now, gliding the shoulder blades down, elbows are down on the floor and then start lifting the upper back and lift, middle back, lower back, right up to your tallest point. And as you go down, the legs will start floating. Have them together if you can, or parallel if you are able to bring the legs together. And again, we'll lift the upper back, middle back, the legs will go down, come up, your maximum extension. And we go down with the body, float the legs like a seesaw. And two more, in breath, we'll lift. Exhale. We go down. Last one. In breath. We lift, lift, uh huh. Exhale. We go down. Now we're gonna come up again, and we're gonna do a swan dive catch. So watch me for one repetition, and then join me if you haven't done this before. We lift. Up, up, up. Now here. Hold that extension, leg of the arms, and bring it in front of your forehead. Let's do eight of this. And we go down, legs come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. We come down, well done. Push away, round the pelvis down, stretch for a moment, and then we roll up. All right, bring the legs forward. We've got corkscrew advance. Again, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, watch me for one repetition and come and join me for the rest. Legs are straight, we roll down. Arms go by the side, bring the knees in, bring the feet in, two. Now, we're gonna start with a rollover, legs up, Legs up, straighten, up to the sky, roll over. Now, like Jack Knife, we lower the feet down, but we're going to rotate the legs towards me. And then we're gonna go down through one side of the spine, bring the legs over to the other side, roll up, and feet down to the floor, perhaps, maybe not, and down back to the middle. We go to the opposite direction now to you. We go down. And around the other way. And up. Again, you are still mermaid, uh, mermaid here. Legs go together. And towards me. And over to you. And up. And back to the center. All right. If you were watching before, come and join me. And down. And around. Over the other side. And up. 
back to the center. And to me, roll down on that side, and over to the other side, roll up, and back to center. And to you, roll down, over side, and back. And continue, but I'm gonna just do it facing the camera. So actually, you know what's going on here. So I'm gonna over, and then down one side, around the other way. Back to center, and down one side, around the other way. And last one, or last set. And last one here, come back to the center. We roll the spine back, we bend the knee. Lower one foot down, second leg down. Okay, straighten the legs on the floor. Arms go overhead, we roll up. And in breath, exhale, C curve, lift the back. Grand finale, we're going to do teasers. So let's go, teaser one, teaser two, and teaser three. Let's do four each shall we? If you find that these are three are challenging, just do teaser one again, okay? We are going to bring the back straight, lean back a tiny bit, and legs up, straighten, and ooh, there we go. And we roll down, exhale, arms overhead, legs stay there, in breath, and reach. Exhale, overhead, inhale, legs are staying the same spot. Exhale, overhead, inhale, and reach. Last one, overhead, inhale. We reach, stay, these are two. Lower the leg, lift, four, three, two, one, here's a three, everything go down. Legs off the floor, arms overhead and forward. Lift everything up, reach and two. And arms overhead and a forward. Lift everything up, two more. Overhead, lift everything up. Last one, overhead, lift everything up. Last one, last one, there. And release, well done. All right, open the knees apart. Sit up tall, shake your rocket body, left and right. And exhale, let's go ahead and roll the spine down. And just stay in this rest position for a moment. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale, last one. And in breath. Exhale, let's go ahead and roll the spine up. Nice and tall. And just stay here for a moment. Just I want you to just find that beautiful, long, tall sitting position and just close your eyes for a moment. Deep inhalation. Allow the breath to calm your body down, to lower your heart rate down. Long breath out. And just enjoy that warmth you created for the body, detoxifying the body. Just take a moment to breathe. Sometimes we really, really forget to breathe, even though we know we breathe all the time, but enjoying breathing, calming the system. Let's do one more time with me. Exhale. And open your eyes. Wow.
Wow. Wow. Well done. You did it. That was a killer and you did awesome for powering through. Make sure you do this class regularly and see the difference physically and internally. Make sure you keep that internal fire kindling and meet me on the mat tomorrow. All right, have a great day and thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.